3rd of March 2019. And the banana island could include frozen banana, banana smoothies, frozen bananas, banana ice cream, baked bananas, dried bananas, banana jam, banana juice if we buy a juicer. So we have a lot of banana options, grilled banana, baked banana. I mean, there's almost endless things of what you can do, uh, banana, banana cake, banana bread, banana flatbread, you name it. Go banana island with banana options. Cannot fail. Whoa, the lady is still holding up after the big storm. So we had a, a big storm about a week ago and that made the roof fall out and the bananas were going down and it, yeah so I needed to fix some roof things and the bananas needed to be harvested and more of the banana palms would go down and that means that we have a lot of bananas right now so if you want to go on a banana island, it's a good time to come right now. And also the small shed where we had our stuff and garbage and stuff like that, recycling, plastic, it's gone right now. So we are starting to rebuild that. The remains after the storm, this will be the new construction. Leg and I, we built this yesterday. Main structure is ready. Just need some roof and maybe some support. Otherwise, we're getting ready for mango season. Pretty nice. And also some are already going bad like this. So we need to take them off. And also take off that, prune it, prune it a little bit. So it doesn't get disease and we get some mulch and ground cover. But when you don't spray with pesticides, herbicides or any other crazy chemical, then it's hard to know exactly when to bag the mangoes because we also don't want the, the flies and other bugs to go in and lay eggs in them. And the bags will protect the mangoes from that. So it's a really, really difficult balance to find sometimes. These bananas might end up ripening up even on the ground. I know that leg doesn't want to bag stuff like this, but this is like a huge mega mango. And I just wanted to bag these. These are, will be super tasty, even though they have like marks and, and other stuff. When this gets ready, it's already really heavy. And look at this one, also very nice, in my opinion. Not ready for the Chinese market. The Chinese won't buy stuff like this. But for fruitarians and people who love fruit, this is... This is really, really good. If you love fruit like I do and would like to pick the best fruit, pick really high quality fruit directly from the trees. And you can see it's like grown in a normal way without herbicides because there will be worms in some of them. They're attacked by other stuff. So it's not, if you go somewhere where it's like production from mangoes, you can see that it's like perfectly, they're like super, beautiful one color they don't have any misshapes or whatever because they have been pruned down here we have everything so if you want to come and pick your own fruit i i would really recommend coming here for for the for the mangoes it's from the end of april until like uh, july and then from july to august end of august then we have longan and it's really 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 nice and um, you the the longan are really good the mangoes are really good and we have bananas all the time almost uh, otherwise we have it frozen so we can make smoothies go around and taking care of the mangoes and and the longan it's just an amazing experience yeah the storm took good care of the cassava so it's like only one standing, but I'm like replanting them. It's not a big deal. They will grow very fast when the rain comes. Sometimes it can be a challenge when there is a beehive in the mango tree, but it's also very nice to have a beehive in the mango tree because bees are very valuable for us. 
and they're also like really nice insects and creatures. Pollinators! The good and bad thing about the storm is also that a lot of mangoes went down and but it's also a way to get rid of the bad fruit because the bad fruit is not hanging really well to the tree so only the best fruit is left but anyway I'm actually walking around and like checking them because some of them are already starting to rot and you can just pull them off the trees to prevent disease and also we get the extra bag and we can just uh, reuse them for the other mangoes and I can see that we are going to have like when you when you when you don't do this in induced flowering with the potassium nitrate neither on the long end nor the the mangoes you can see that the the season will be longer because it's the the, the flowering doesn't happen like at once so some trees will flower earlier and some later and that's more like a natural way to do it and also have a food for a longer period of time what happened here but anyway things like this I'll just take off yes this will not grow the old flowers take them off I don't know if it's uh, really beneficial to do that but it keeps away the flies the flies will like lay eggs and they like to live on dead stuff so if stuff starts to rot on, on the trees it's not so good but it's probably more natural if there's anything natural anymore in 2019 these are like hanging Easter eggs, thousands of hanging Easter eggs. Even though I don't like the idea of supporting um, trees with bamboo, but sometimes when the mango go down on the ground, it's a good idea to keep them off the ground so they don't rot by supporting with bamboo. And it might prevent the whole mango branch to fall down or break when there is a storm or strong wind. So we, here we have a longan tree and here are like already some longans coming and you can see on the branch on the left side here's like some flowers coming and they will just flower later and there will be longan later. The zucchini area and the jackfruit. Hima. very interesting to see that some of these small longan trees are actually producing a lot this year uh, they've not been producing much last year so it's nice to see that stuff like plants not producing last year are producing this year I think it's like a very healthy sign and we have this giant cassowa here and there's like giant passion fruit growing on the giant cassowa sunflowers Look at this one plant, sunflower plant. It has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen flowers and one sunflower. That's insane. I don't know what's wrong with that. Normally they have like one or two. Normally just one. What? We are still harvesting uh, giant passion fruit. These are not ready at all. This is almost ready, it's all already soft. Yeah. It's a bit soft, but it doesn't smell at all. When it doesn't smell really, really nice and you don't really want to eat it, don't pick it. It's like a special Thai apple thing. What is it called in Thai? Chompu Mamiao. If you know what this is in English, please let me know. Yeah, I cannot stress enough how much invited you are for the harvest of longan and mangoes. I would love like vegans and fruitarians and other like fruit lovers coming and picking the fruit. That would be amazing. Because also I can keep this area completely vegan if we don't have people to come and harvest it. I will probably try to harvest it all by myself if I don't get get help but it really depends on what I'm doing and stuff like that and people will come here they will set a price on the long gun and then they'll just harvest it and, and ship it to the factory and we don't need to do anything they'll just pay us and pick it and they will just leave a mess it will just be much nicer if we had like good people here like helping with the harvest and enjoying life
and like just wants a short papaya here so she wants to cut off the top but she doesn't want to kill the top so she made an incision in the in the papaya here and just wrapped up like uh, some coconut husk and now you can see like a lot of root so at some point we can just cut it off here and the bottom will survive because it has root on the bottom and we have root here and can you just put it in the ground and even though it's like crazy stuff going on it starts flowering oh papaya ready I just love these small avocados it's just lovely to see them just to throw them in the ground and just they just pop up you know like like vegetables or some stuff and in between i planted the orange jackfruit and the orange jackfruit is already sprouting here it's a little, a little bit like a little nursery and i can just take them out when the rain comes and plant them somewhere else wow, wow. look at all those long guns and also when you have this like people coming and picking you have this more organic way of picking the the, the tree when when a factory comes they will just pick everything but when people come they will just pick the ripe ones first and then because one side of the tree can ripen first and then the other side of the tree can ripen later and it's just like much better utilization of the fruit and you get like maximum output out of it And this longan tree near the kitchen and the bathroom has never flowered before. While I've been here it's never had fruit or flowers. But now it's just flowering like crazy. So we will like have a lot of fruit here. Maybe a ton on right this tree. Hot basil. When you like near the, near the uh, bathroom you can just go like this. And you have like a basil smell all around. It's just like wow. This is the kaffir lime leaves that you use for cooking, but also I use like one leaf to put in with my washing nuts in a little cotton bag and wash my clothes. It's a really good tip. Oh, and if you love mango chutney, mango jam, or longan jam, longan chutney, whatever, you're also like very welcome to come and try to make some of those things. It's uh, we have a lot of like longan and mango. And uh, like if you're Thai and if you're expert in doing this and if you have your own production of these products or maybe if you're a bakery in a larger city and you want some of this jam to your maybe uh, you can uh, talk with Lek and maybe you can figure out something how you can do some business if you want. Sabrina and Robbie project with the watermelons. Lek has planted some onion here. Wow the mint farm. The cables are still free of passion fruit. And the passion fruit dome survived the storm. Incredible. I mean, this was a serious storm, like <laughs> big trees falling down. And so I'm quite happy that the dome didn't die. Whole row of sunflowers, and even more sunflowers. And the same sunflowers. The birds are eating our strawberries, so there's not much strawberry to eat right now. Why is it already yellow, the zucchini? It probably will die. And another jackfruit nursery. Looks very nice. Some of them are, are like dying a little bit over there, but I think most of them will survive and we will have a lot of orange jackfruit small plants. We can plant, we can sell, we can do whatever we want. The fig tree. Come and pick your own fruit. Directly from the trees. This is the neighboring longan trees. You can see they are much more uniform. 10 meters from our trees. They're just like super induced. A lot of flowers. They will flower and get fruit at the same time. Which is good for production and factory stuff.